Hi everyone, it's Chris Pru in the White Mountains TV studios in North Conway. We're joined via Zoom by Beth Scrimger. Oh, actually, I shouldn't have said your name because it looks like you're uh-huh. kind of a mystery identity going on. Uh, I am, I am. Of Mystery New Hampshire escape rooms in uh, North Conway, in the Mountain Valley Mall. Thanks for joining us virtually, Beth. Thank you for having us. Appreciate it. It's good to see you finally again. It is good to see you, even though it's uh, you know over the internet. But uh, I know. for those who maybe have never heard of Mystery New Hampshire, what is the the escape room experience? Okay, cool. Well, first off, I'm I'm doing my due diligence. We're masked up. Yay, got it. You know. So, anyways, okay. <laughs> Uh, so escape rooms are, uh, you know, you, you got 60 minutes to go into a themed room. You're looking for clues. You're solving puzzles. You're opening locks, all to achieve the goal of escaping the room. Um, so it's just a fun, interactive, it's a social game, which we've been missing out on over the last couple months. So. Kind of a, a real life puzzle in a way. You don't have to be uh, a rocket scientist to escape these. You just have to kind of uh, be observant at times and, uh, and use your imagination as well as, as, as your, uh, your intellect at times. Right. Right. Yeah. You just gotta, you gotta think a little outside the box while staying in the box. But yeah, <laughs> it definitely is a, a creative way of using a brain. All right. Now, like everybody else, you guys uh, shut down for a while. So tell us about your reopening plan. How is the experience at Mystery New Hampshire different now than it was four months ago? Well, at the moment, uh, depending on when um, when you're actually watching this interview, but uh, at the moment, it's all call to book. Uh, that way, we can kind of manage who's coming in and uh, kind of get into the swing of how we're um, kind of working our process. Um, we're obviously sanitizing uh, in between games and and throughout the day. Um, every all my employees, um, once they come back, they'll get uh, screened right as they're coming onto their shift make sure they're, you know, temperature and all that kind of uh, things. Um, And then everything is being sanitized in between, um, whether it be by uh, sanitizing wipes or UV light. Um, We're just trying to kind of keep it as, as, um, you know, as safe as possible. And uh, everybody's required to wear a mask uh, right now, and which is good and bad. Um, Although I have to tell you, the couple of of, um, groups that we've had, I've done, you know, because I have to pull all my props for my photos. I've got to pull all my play puzzles, you know, so that uh, while you're waiting, there's unfortunately no puzzles to play with. But um, I'm taking pictures with uh, everybody in their masks. So we know everybody's doing it. But then I take a quick picture. I'm like, all right, everybody just pull their mask down really quickly. Click. Okay, good. Now you at least know who you came with. And, <laughs> but we're just making sure that, you know, the people that are coming, um, it is a group activity so that people are, have been in contact with these same people over the last two weeks. Um, nobody is experiencing any kind of um, symptoms um, and that, the, you know, they know that it's unfortunately it's an at risk um, environment because social distancing isn't always possible when you're in an enclosed escape room. So we just want to make sure that you're in with the same group that you've probably been with for the last two months <laughs> quarantined. Um, so that's kind of what we're doing uh, at the moment. Um, so you know, keep it still safe. sounds like a, a fun, safe experience. Describe the rooms you have right now. What, uh, because you guys are always changing your rooms from season to season, what are the mysteries right now at Mystery New Hampshire? Yeah, yeah, we usually do change one out in May. Uh, Unfortunately, I couldn't change one out based, you know, just because of things going on. So we do have one that is going to kind of hang with us a little longer than usually does, and that's called High Noon at the Saloon. And that is you're looking for some uh, incriminating evidence uh, uh, on a shady mayor in a Wild West tavern. It's been a really popular room anyway, so I'm not really all that upset that we're keeping it. It's a fun, fun room. Uh, we all have um, another one called Hangry for History. It is uh, someone has stolen my ham sandwich, and I make a pretty mean ham sandwich, but they stole my ham sandwich. They hid it 
inside a museum curator's workshop. And uh, I, I depend on you guys to find it. I only have an hour for lunch. I need my lunch. So you have to find my sandwich. And then our newest one, who just opened right before all this kind of came down, is called Temporal Temptation. And that is, um, yeah, my great uncle Tim Spacey. He uh, designed and finally uh, realized his dream of time travel. Unfortunately, he's left his machine a little unattended. So we're up for a little joy ride through a few time periods. So those are the three that we have um, at the moment. Those all have obviously descriptions on the website itself that you can kind of look at it and, and see what's going on with which one, you know, suits your fancy at the moment. So it sounds like we have a little bit of a Western theme, a sci-fi theme, a straight up mystery theme, something for everybody. And uh, having done this myself, it is like kind of, going into you be, you become part of a movie when you do these uh, mystery new hampshire escape rooms uh, and it yes. is a lot of fun yeah yeah it is it is um unfortunately i have because of what's going on currently i have had to change up my uh business structure a little bit as i'm sure a lot of people have and so now i only offer private rooms um, which is a little bit different. It used to be, and especially in the summer, it's going to be a little weird kind of going through this because half the fun is playing with other players that you may have uh, never met before. And, uh, you know, so you've got these kind of different minds coming in. But now I have to only offer uh, private rooms and therefore my pricing structure has indeed changed. So it's $120 a flat rate, and that is for one to four players. And then it's $20 extra per player up to the the room's uh, max capacity, which is either six or eight players. So uh, it, it all kind of washes itself out. It's just more a matter of making sure that everybody is safe and now everybody has a private room. All right. Well, as we're all looking for something uh, fun to do this summer, definitely turn your attention to Mystery New Hampshire Escape Rooms located mm -hmm. in the, uh, the Mountain Valley Mall where um, JCPenney, which is closing, but and also the uh, the movie theater is, is located. Yeah. And for people who want to book a room because you have to book in advance right now, how do they do it? Yeah, so uh, visit my website first off. It's mysterynh.com. That gives you all the information that you need. At the moment, like I said, it is call to book, and that is 603-730-5009. That way you can leave a message, kind of have an idea of when you guys want to come in. But after uh, the July 4th weekend, we'll go back to just online booking um, as we have in the past. Um, but because of um, me getting my crew back in, in into the swing of things and making sure everybody's real safe, um, it is call to book so that I can make sure that I know exactly who's coming in and, and, and schedule people accordingly. All right, Beth Scrimger, Mystery New Hampshire. Thank you so much for joining us today. And uh, hopefully we see you in person very soon. I, I appreciate it. Yeah, definitely. So. But thank you for having me, Chris. Appreciate it. Always a joy. Always our pleasure, Beth. Thank you so much. You're watching White Mountain TV.